Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to save time when working with Breakdance by using keyboard shortcuts. Breakdance has a ton of built-in keyboard shortcuts to help you work faster. To see all of them, you're going to press Command, Shift, and then Question Mark, or the forward slash. That's going to be on the lower right side of your keyboard next to the Shift key. If you're on Windows, it's going to be Control, Shift, Question Mark, or Control, Shift, slash on mac though command shift slash forward slash so let's press that keyboard shortcut right now command shift slash and up pops the keyboard shortcuts help panel this will show you all of the available keyboard shortcuts let me walk you through these so my favorite keyboard shortcut the one i'm using most is command a to open the add panel so let's go ahead and close this and i'll open the add panel with command or again if you're on windows that's going to be control and then a so command a and we have the add panel open no need to use the mouse you'll notice the search elements box is automatically focused so you can just start typing let's say i want to add a new section to my page i'm going to hit command a i'm then going to hit s to get to section s e and then hit the enter or return key to actually add the element to the page and it's going to add the element that's highlighted in blue to the page. So let's hit enter and voila, we've added a new section. If we want to delete that, we can just use the delete key on the keyboard. So I'll just hit delete, section's gone. Let's do it again. Command A, S E, enter. And there you go. And if you want to tab through the elements after you open the ad panel, you can go Command A, type in S, and then you can move the uh, up and down i'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard i'm pressing up arrow up arrow up arrow or down arrow and we can use tab as well you may see another element highlighted in blue that's because that's where your mouse is so if you don't want to see two elements in blue just move your mouse out of there and use the tab key or the arrows to go through that let's say i want to add basic list let's go dot 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 to basic list and let's just hit the return or enter key and voila you want to get rid of it again delete key and it's gone okay let's open that keyboard shortcuts panel again and take a look at the next shortcut so that's going to be command shift forward slash and you'll see the next shortcut is command b this opens the design sets modal so command b and here we are in the design library immediately okay let's close that and you can also close with the escape key so let's open that again command b and I could click the mouse outside of the X button, or I could just hit escape on the keyboard, and the modal is gone. Let's open that keyboard shortcuts window again. And the next shortcut is save. That's just command S, and it's going to save the page. Take a look at the save button. I'm not going to click it. I'm just going to hit command S, and look what happens. Page is saving. Let's go ahead and hit command shift. Question mark again, open the uh, shortcuts modal. Next one, you'll see Command Shift Z for undo, or Command Shift Z for undo, uh, Command Shift Z for redo, Command Z for undo. So let's say I do something I don't want to do. For example, maybe I delete this column, delete. I don't want to do that. I'll just hit Command Z, undone. If I want to redo the deletion, I can hit Command Shift C. And again, that's control on Windows. Let's keep going down the list. We can copy and paste elements with Command C and Command V. Or we can simply duplicate an element, which is the same as copying and paste, with just Command D. So let's say I want to, I don't know, let's say I want to duplicate uh, this section right here. I can hit Command C, and then Command V, and voila, it's duplicated. Or I can just hit Command D, and it will uh, duplicate in place. Command C and Command V is useful for copying and pasting between pages or even cross domain. You can hit Command C on the keyboard. And then you could open a different tab in your browser of Breakdance on a different page, and you could paste that element into the new page. Okay, let's take a look at more shortcuts. We already covered Escape. That'll just close the open modal, or it'll deactivate the currently active element. So here we have a checkmark list active. Let's hit Escape, and no more element is active. Let's open the modal again. We already covered Backspace or Delete to delete the active element. We can go through the breakpoints with Command Option R, uh, let's take a look at what that looks like. So here I am at the top of the page. Let's do Command, Option, and on Windows, that's going to be Alt. So Control, Alt, or on Mac, because, you know, Mac is better, Command, Option, Command, Option, R. 
command option R, command option R, R, R. And as you can see, we're previewing our design at all the different breakpoints very quickly, so that's useful if you just want to do a quick sanity check and see how your design looks on different device sizes. Okay, let's go back to the uh, desktop breakpoint, and let's open that keyboard shortcuts modal again. You want to see the shortcuts modal? I already told you how. Command shift slash or command question mark. And Breakdance automatically scales the preview when you're editing a page if your browser window is too small. So let's go here, and you can see it's getting smaller. But what if you don't want the preview to scale? Well, you can use a keyboard shortcut to prevent it from scaling. Let's do Command-Shift-S. And as you can see, we now get side scrolling. Or we can hit Command Shift S again, and the preview is now scaled, no side scrolling. Okay, those are the Breakdance keyboard shortcuts. I hope those tips help you speed up your workflow. This is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you for watching.